What's up everybody, Lord Vargar here. I am back and today we are going to review Enter the Gungeon. Initial release date 2016 by Dodge Roll. And it was uh, published by Devolver Digital. Does this game stack up to Dungeons and Dragons or is it just a cheap knockoff parody? Let's play it and find out. So up first is characters. You've got the Marine, you've got the Pilot, you've got the uh, Convict and the Hunter. These four characters are your basic characters and you can unlock characters later. Did I beat this game yet? No, I have not. But I it's because I'll tell you in a review why. You do have this little cultist. It's got a cute, adorable little uh, suction cup gun it uses. That's the character that the second couch co-op player will use. And yes, it has great couch co-op. Although when you're in co-op mode, you cannot divide yourself because it's much like the, uh, the older... Uh, throwback games where you could pull the character off the screen and then that character can't catch up and get stuck much like the old gauntlet game so the only criticism i have about this game is its load screens at times the loading didn't seem like it took forever but that could have just been my internet connection which admittedly isn't that good a lot of gamers uh blame the the developers instead of their own internet as they should you pay for cheap internet you get longer load times that's just a fact of life so I chose the Marine in this one because he has an extra armor. When bullets come at you, and they will, and they get more and more and more progressive. Wow, it does not stop, and it is absolutely, positively, bullet hell relentless. On the left hand side you see a little green thing pop up, that's a fast travel. Once the bullets start flying, there are barrels that explode, you can flip tab tables over to protect you from the other bullets. Bullets range from simple bullets to ghost bullets to shotgun bullets to sniper bullets, and they I guess they're the representations of the kobolds, orcs, gnolls that inhabit dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons from TSR. That's a good nod. Later on, you fight monsters like Holster, which is, you know, laughable parodies of the Beholder, uh, and, and things like the Door Gun, and just random other bullet gun related monsters that they parody of the actual role play monsters from past uh, RPG genres and it's just refreshing B button is the dodge roll mechanic and get familiar with the dodge button because you'll be using it a lot when you press the left stick and right stick in together you get this really cool blank destroying on, on screen thing which is just amazing now, from now on, I'm not going to bother rating games. If I preview the game on my channel or if I show the game off or review it, it's because I support the developer wholeheartedly. I love the game, and simple as that. I'm not going to quibble with any reviewers and fellow reviewers and stuff about this game is in early access or this game is bad because of this reason. If I review your game, I love your game. I highly recommend it to other players to play. This game, obviously, is a 10 out of 10. The colors are striking. The music score in the music video or the advertisement of the game, Enter the Dungeon itself, is great. I think it rivals that at Quest and Dungeons by David Amador. It's a wonderful game, and I highly recommend this. And uh, go out and pick it up. It's it's not that much. It's only, I believe, $15 on the uh, Xbox One, and just check it out. It's great. Good to be back, everybody. Go get your butts shot off. Enter the Dungeon. Take a chance, and see if you can get farther than me, which is the boss of the second level. Thanks, everybody. Love ya. Thanks for your support over the time I was out. Good to be back. Talk to you later. Peace. Viking Punch is back, Jack!